it to their song Me tell them My bleach in my clean skin, my cream skin Make me get enough gal, me not the bang I print Wag one YouTube um, So yeah, today we're back in the kitchen once again Obviously, um, today I'm bi I've already done a video on jerk chicken So I'm going to throw some rice in there So I might as well show you how to cook some rice as well I'm going to be cooking basmati rice today um, I've done a video on how to cook easy cook rice, long grain um, for beginners and yeah this basmati rice is a little step up a notch kind of thing so yeah let's get to it anyway guys so things you'll need man is some a pack of basmati rice um, you need some oregano oregano you need some sea salt some black peppercorns um, I like to add a little bit of olive oil to when it's boiling so the rice stays like fluffy and don't stick to the pan so and that's optional you don't need to use this guys and some time I literally had to scrape the hell out of my fridge to get the little piece of time there um because I've run out completely so you know it's a, yeah it must have meant to be man got the little piece there for the rice so yeah so to begin you just want to obviously measure out your rice like I was saying the same rules apply as in cooking long grain rice I use the one cup rice to two cups water method, it works for me. Um, my mum doesn't use this method, but it works for me, so and my rice always comes out on fleek. So, yeah, um, just gonna pop the rice into the pan and then just want to give that a nice thorough wash to get all the starch off, and then I'll show you what to do next, guys. So, now your rice. Yeah. So now your rice is washed, you just want to add two cups of water. Your rice? Um, oil. And now this is the cup. You want to give it a little tad bit more. It's not even a quarter of the cup, so it's about it's about here guys. So just a little bit more water. And then just wanna throw I just like to throw a bit of oil in there. It's like I don't know. No, not even a teaspoon though. And then I'm gonna throw my thyme in. Cut time wait for now, buddy. So I've got to get the right the timing quick. Because time likes to go quick too. So <laughs> alright, let me add some oregano. Now don't be shy with the seasoning guys, everyone likes flavorful food, yeah? That's like my famous line through the YouTube with flavorful. Because I had enough of that bland food shit. And just a couple, like a little bit of salt, not too much. And then, yeah, I'm going to put, put this on the hob now. So I'll just put it on the hob. Um, it's on gas mark six. We went it on the highest temperature to start. And then when it starts bubbling, um, we're going to reduce the heat and I'll show you when you want to reduce the heat because this is quite a crucial point because I used to mess up with this part and pass so much thinking, oh yeah, man, see a little jump in bubbles and yeah, boom, man's reduced the heat and then man will get porridge for dinner. So yeah, I'll show you when to is the right time to reduce the heat, guys. So I just come back to check up on it and it's just starting to bubble as you can see here, but this is not ready at all. It's almost there. But yeah, if you take it out, put it on low heat now, you're gonna have porridge for dinner, guys. So I'll show you when the correct time is to reduce the heat. So I'm just gonna give the um, rice a little mix to get all the seasonings in thoroughly. And yeah guys, that's basically this, when it's the rice is jumping, you see the rice jumping, you want to reduce the heat to as low as possible. So man's on one now, and I'm just going to pop the lid on, and I'm going to leave it for 12 minutes. And then I'll repeat, I'll be back in 12 minutes for this rice. Okay, so now my 12 minutes have been up. That's how your rice should be looking. And then you want to just leave it to sit off the hob for um, another five minutes or so. So I'm just going to leave that there for five minutes. And then, yeah, that's basically your rice done, guys. So 
so guys and girls, my rice has been on the stove, left to sit for five minutes. And that's how your basmati rice should be looking. It, should be, it shouldn't be stuck together or clumpy. If it's clumpy and like porridge, then you need to do a new batch. But yeah, it should be all um, um, sticky, but still individual bits of rice. And yeah, so that's how you make rice, guys. Um, and so guys, that's how you make basmati rice, man. It's pretty simple once you kind of try it a few times. Don't get, you probably won't do it the first time. I didn't do it the first time. But it's just trying to never, man. But that's pretty a basic video of how to cook basmati rice. But um, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Hit the comments below. Any questions or advances, hit me up. I'll try to answer them as best I can, man. Um, yeah, stay tuned, man. I'll hit you up with a new vid once I've something comes to mind again. But yeah. I'm preaching that. My clean skin, my clean skin, my clean skin, so I get that.